I'm pregnant. <laughs> Bitch, I'm a mother. No drama. Welcome back to your couple of tea podcasts. This is episode 19. We didn't even make it 20 episodes in before the pregnancy announcement. This might be one of the craziest podcasts we ever do and the most exciting for sure. I think so. Definitely the most exciting. I mean, <laughs> this is insane. So, um, uh, surprise. Yes, I am can, pregnant. Yeah, you can call me daddy from here on out. What? Um, I'm not the calling boy is about I'm to be a father. You. This That's is crazy. crazy. Even saying that doesn't even fit. I don't know why. I still feel like it's not real, but it is. Like, I've been pregnant now for, like, over... A, well, technically, I'm, like, I'm nine weeks pregnant, but I feel like, like, I don't know. I feel like I've like, only been... Like, I don't know. I just, it's crazy. We're going to talk about um, how the pregnancy has been going for KDB yes. so far and your boy, because, you know, this is a wee thing. Mm -hmm. We're both pregnant and uh, we're going to dive into everything. And we'll also, we'll also be talking a little bit about like how I found out how you keep in like how I'm telling you, oh my gosh, so videos to come on JD vlogs. Um, yes. And also, I just want to talk about it real quick, what? like. How do you prepare to be a father? Like, I just said it. Like, you can call me daddy. Like, I'm about to be a father. Like, that... Well, first of all, daddy and father. Like, father sounds like very old. Daddy just sounds like, you know, a joke. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. about to be a father. You know what I'm saying? Is that not weird? Like, is that... That just doesn't... It doesn't almost feel real like it doesn't okay. feel it like feels feel more like, real seeing you as a dad than me as a mom like i don't know it's just so like i'm so excited like eh, i feel like you can i can always picture like you like having a baby like yeah being pregnant but like i don't know like i don't know for me when i say like i'm about to be a father like what that but you're so the right. thing is is you're so responsible like i feel like people are gonna be like like literally someone already said they're like you guys are gonna be great parents See, you no, say that, not. but like, I feel like I don't have my shit together. Like, I, what do you mean? I don't you are know so why. full of shit. I feel yes, so do. like sporadic and just no. out there. It's like, I don't know. One day, like I'm fighting. One day, like I'm jumping out of airplanes. Like I'm, I'm about to be yeah. a father. I got to cool it down no. a little bit. And our kid's going to be like, yeah, my dad's freaking dope. Like that's that sick. is crazy. But anyway, okay. So where should we start? Should we start with like me finding out like when that was, all that stuff? Kinda, for me personally, me personally, uh, I'm not taking me personally, that. I'm not taking that. I I, w I just want to jump into like you telling me, and we can't we can't give away too many secrets because this is coming out before some of the videos. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but so we don't want to talk about me finding out or anything. You know, maybe I don't know. It's hard to say. Like it's I don't want though. I don't want to spill all the, the tea. Is, but this is your couple of tea. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is if we talk about it, it's different than them actually watching. It's only our gonna reaction. hype up the video, right? Because yeah. then they're gonna be like, oh, I want to see how it actually yeah. played out. So now, let's, let's talk, talk about how you told me that. Like, what was that? Okay, so what do you mean? Okay, so I found out. No, it was cute. No, I'm not saying it was bad, but like. No, listen to my story. The timing of everything. Shh, shh, let me talk. Go okay, crazy. so I found out on December 28th, I believe it was. And then um, I wanted to tell Josh that day. I found out in the morning. He was home while I took the test and everything. I wanted to tell him that Which, day. Which, like, what was I doing? Like, how did I not know? You were on a phone call for a move with your brother. You're um, just you lucky those meetings, um, you know, we'd be diving in deep. I know. Those meetings. You got plenty of time to be secret. So anyway, I was in the room, took the test, whatever, found out and was like, it was like a cheapo test. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, this can't be real. Like, I was like, this is not real. Like, when I were was... you starting to be suspicious? Like, when did you think like you were even pregnant? Well, I didn't. I just like, well, okay. Like, here's me, the, no, no, no. Just on our way back. In a cup and on our way back from michigan i was supposed to start my period and like i was like oh okay he hasn't come yet that's weird whatever then i was like okay i'll probably start out like on the plane like i was like i brought tampons everything i was like okay that's weird like i didn't start it and then i was like well maybe maybe i'll just take a test but then i was like uh like i don't because a couple months ago i took some tests and like i was sad because it didn't it wasn't pregnant but i really thought i was pregnant and it took so many tests and then I was like, I wasted so much money on those. So I bought these cheapo tests. So right. I only had those at the house. So I was like, oh, let me just take like a cheapo one. Like it's probably nothing. I like quickly did my makeup. I was like, just in case some crazy thing happens and I am pregnant, like, and I'm filming this video. I did not look that good in that video. Oh, so you got ready. You're no, no, no. In the other videos, I really thought I was pregnant. So I got ready. You know, this Wait, one, so I was filmed like. filmed other videos prior. Yes. Because I know, Taking, like, every time I took a six test, six like, months ago, I found one on the SD card, yeah. and I was like, "Babe, what the heck? Like, you gotta be more like." I would have known, like, if you were pregnant. That was more, I That was only it. like three months ago. 
or however long ago it was. But anyway, know. so I thought I was a couple months ago and I wasn't. And so this time I literally didn't think I was. So I was like, oh, let me just take the cheapo test. But I have to film it just in case by some crazy chance it was positive. And so I took the cheapo once and then I see the two lines and I'm like a little confused because I was like, well, wait, did I? I didn't even read the instructions. Like, does two lines mean pregnant? I was like, I think it does. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like, is this real? And then I ran back to like where I had the box of the test because I went, I, those are in my bedroom. And then I was like, oh my gosh, that does say pregnant. And I was like, this can't be. I'm like, this is, I was like, wait, this is crazy. Whatever. You guys will see that whole video. I find out. And then I wanted to tell Josh that day, but you had to go to training soon. We had something and then training. Oh, and also you surprised me with the Tesla on the day I found out I was pregnant. That's a good day. Like it was a really That's good a day. Really good but day. like I wanted to tell you so bad, like so much was going on. Low it was key, like a crazy day for me. I was gonna say, like when you when that happened and like you told me the next day, like that was a very like busy time. You yes. know, we had just like fully bought oh toppers coming. Don't let him say he's gonna step on that. Pull it back, he's gonna step on the stuff. Okay, stay. 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 Good boy. He just he wants needs the to love. love. Um, <laughs> our dog, if you're not watching this on YouTube, just came in. He almost stepped on the laptop. He's gonna, <laughs> it was turned gonna off ruin the, the show. podcast. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, it was a very busy time in our lives. We had just bought um, JD Fit and JD Beauty, like fully, like mm -hmm. solely owned that. And we were taking over that. Your boy had a fight coming up. Um, yeah, so we were doing like everything. We were vlogging every day. So we, you had filmed. There's just a lot going on. You had filmed the surprise. You surprised yep. me. And then you had to go to, you went to training early that day, but mm -hmm. instead of going to training, our friend Noah actually asked us, she's like, do you want to go golfing today? But we had just gotten back from Michigan. So we had so much work to do. So Josh didn't want to go golfing because we had a lot of work to do. I'm like, just go. I'm like, go for the day. Yeah. It, that so, was, that's what was so sus because like, you know, you didn't think anything back, of it. Though. Oh, I did. Not like that. Not like that. I had yeah. no, I had no idea you were pregnant or anything. I was like, why is she like? want me, want to, me go. to go golf so bad i'm like this well, is because i was odd, like but... you haven't got to do anything fun you've been so busy with like training and everything and so the thing was is i wanted him to get out of the house so that way i could go to the store buy an actual pregnancy test like a more like legit one and then Topper wants so much love carefully it doesn't rip out your headphone cord but um <laughs> it's just, he literally oh. is, he's so needy All look right. at him guys we are back um we got the dog Okay. On the left, <laughs> he just—he's very excited that he's gonna be a big brother. He is. He's very, never been a big brother you're before. You're gonna be a big brother. Yep. Look at him. He's like, he's huh? so excited. But he um, actually found out before I did too. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, he's actually really funny in the video. Like when I you know. guys see that, you'll you'll think it's funny because Topper's just in the background. Like, he did not care one bit. But anyway, so I. I wanted him to go so I could go get an actual pregnancy test and then film that. And I didn't have enough time because I wanted to like go get something to surprise you with. I just didn't have enough time in the day to tell you and do it how I wanted to do it. Okay. Is Topper trying to say something on the mic? <laughs> he was. And so Josh went to training and then that's when I went to the store and I got another pregnancy test and it said like, it was not like a, oh, like a little line. Like it was no, like a big word. cross line. Well, yeah, that one was pregnant, but then the other one was like very solid. So I was like, holy crap, like I'm definitely pregnant. Like there's no, I was like, this, this is four tests now. Unless they're all just wrong. And so I also went to the store after I did that. I went to a different store called Dillard. It's kind of like a Nordstrom. And I wanted to buy something little, like little baby shoes or something. I really wanted like cool Jordans, but like I couldn't find those anywhere. Or even like little blazers. Oh, that that little dope. baby blazers would have been so cute to like, I don't know, like show you with. But I found baby Uggs, so I got those. Um, so you guys will see when I surprise Josh. It's really cute. But the most awkward thing ever is, is I went to the store. And I don't know that many people in Arizona. Like we're still kind of newish here. Like we've only been here for two years. It's not like we know... You know, it's not like we went to high school here. And anyway, I saw someone I knew and I'm like picking out baby clothes. And then like one of the ones That's he said, us. I think it's just like the little things in life or something like that. Yep. And I was like, I ran into her. I'm like, oh, uh, hi, uh, what, how are you? Like, so good to see you. And I was like, I felt so like off, like not awful. Like I just didn't know what to say because I was so nervous. Okay, what is Topper doing? I know, he's like Topper, go lay running out. everywhere. Go lay I don't know out. what to do with him. Huh. Anyways, um, but yeah, KDB did that. Honestly, that would be, I would be, it would be so hard not to tell like your person. Like for me, it's like whenever something exciting happens, like I want to tell you. I wanted to tell you so bad. And so like, it was so hard. So I went and I got the stuff to surprise you. And then the next morning, 
I was over that whole night. I was like, I can't even sleep right now. Like I, I know I'm pregnant and like, you have no idea. And I'm like, I felt like almost like a little alone. I was like, I just want to tell him. You were super giddy like that night. And then the next morning, um, the next morning you did something that like, after you told me, I was like, oh, like maybe that's why, like you see was it something with it. the work? We had to go do. No, you were like super loving. Like you, like it was 6 a.m. We had oh, like thanks, a workout. Babe, no, you're we're always loving. super loving. But like at six in the morning, we just woke up like your boy Krusty. Like, oh, well, I was that's brushing my teeth and she like walked over to me and like hugged my arm and like put her head on my chest. And I was like, yeah, but the oh. difference was. She, I was like, she must be really tired. No, I, I was wide awake. Like, so because I didn't sleep that night. You were just and excited. we had to wake up at like six to go do Josh's strength and conditioning, which is so hard. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm pregnant. I was like, I don't know what workouts I can do. I don't know how hard. I can work out like I was nice. really nervous I was like hopefully I don't have to do anything like laying on my stomach like or I don't know what the or well I don't know I didn't know what the rules little bean are. in there is just getting his fitness on <laughs> yeah from the so, jump bro anyway from the jump we come back he, he she about to come out shredded yes um so we come back and I'm like okay I gotta tell Josh he'd be like today like it's gotta happen and so Josh normally showers after the gym for some reason he doesn't and he puts on like sweatpants and like I was like going not your best it. clothes. I was tired. I didn't. Sleep. I don't know. I was. But normally, I was tired. Usually, I you I like dress up and I shower. get ready for the day. So that's what I thought you were gonna do, and you were like, "Oh, I'm not showering." I'm like, "You sure? You sure you don't want to shower?" Yeah, she was pressing me. She's like, "Babe, you should shower. Like, get ready. You're not gonna get ready." Was like, I didn't press you that hard. Aren't we going? Aren't we filming this video after or something? And I was like, "I don't know what you said," but um. I was like, oh, it's fine. It's but fine. you didn't look bad. You still looked cute. It's not like I, if you were wearing some like really goofy. I felt I crusty. I don't. I looked a little crusty. I've you watched didn't. the video back a couple of times, but but that's okay. Like I look crusty in a lot of our videos. Well, that's the thing too. It's like not. It's nothing new. It's real. I like, I like the it's real. real I like the raw. And like realness. even in my video, when I found out, it's not like I looked my best either. You know, it's I just like even, all an experience. I honestly don't care. Like no, because it's not I about got, that. Yeah, like, I, I got nothing to like yeah yeah and anyway i just thought it was funny because like for me i expected i don't know in my head like something so like not like nine in the morning like still like waking up like i don't know like i don't know what i expected yeah what did you expect i don't know know. honestly if if i were you or if i was thinking as you like i figured you would like oh let's do a sit down video for you to like we can do like a q a and like you would sit me down and just tell me on camera that's what i expected Oh, just because, yeah. like, that would have probably been the easiest, like, setup for you. Well, for me, so I was that's why that. I thought that. For me, I was thinking like. But like it would the be, way you did it, I like better because I, man, I don't know, I wouldn't have been suspicious. Because you walked in and you looked at the cameras and you're like, "What is going on?" No, like she kicked. You're gonna see it. Like she like pretended to be hurt. Like it was so obvious she wasn't hurt. Like I don't, I don't know. So I was like, "Are you like trying to prank me?" I walk in the room. There's like three. And you're four like, cameras. "Okay, well, she like, clearly didn't hide the cameras at all." Like, like uh, what? Are you okay? Like, what's going on? And then she like. You were like so confused as to what yeah. I was doing because like if I was, like, I was pranking you, you probably thought I was like starting to prank you. And, I like, thought you were suspicious. trying to prank me. I was like, but then you saw the terrible. cameras and you're like, wait, I'm so confused. So anyway, he saw the cameras. Then he's like looking at me like, "What is going on?" And then you see the pregnancy test, and your reaction is so funny, just because. Bro, just mouth. Because you were like, blow, oh. "Huh? What?" <laughs> like you were like, "Wait, what?" Oh, what? I literally thought, like in my head, like when you came up to me, I was like, "You would see it right away." You didn't. See, it, it felt. Oh, no, I you didn't. Did, see it. You saw it like two seconds later, but in my head, it literally felt like I was staring at you for like five minutes. I'm like, "Bro, in my head, right there. yeah." Looking back on it, because I've watched the video back obviously a million times, like mm-hmm. in my head, that was like a thirty second thing. Yeah. But like it really was actually, I saw it pretty fast. You did, but didn't it feel like it was like a long time? Like yeah, like in my head, it feels like I walked in there like super like curious. I'm like, why are there so many cameras? Why are you pretending to be hurt? Like what's going on? Yeah, like what is going on? And then like like slow motion, like do 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 do. Like that, <laughs> <you're> like what? <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, it was, it, was, it was really cool, really special time. And then after that, like we went and we got um, a coffee at Four Silos, our favorite coffee place. And well, I didn't really, I, 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 got I coffee. you got coffee. You didn't get coffee. I've been cutting back on the caffeine Katie has a lot. Not like had, zero like, caffeine. Any caffeine, obviously, which, just finding out what you're allowed to You can to have, have caffeine. caffeine. I just, it's weird. Like one of the things since I've been pregnant is like coffee smells really bad to me and I love coffee. 
And I've drank it a couple, like I've had a couple of your sips, but like I haven't really had the desire to like want coffee. Yeah. So that was like the weirdest day ever because like you told me that in the morning and like I was so stoked and like giddy. You like didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do the rest of the day. I was like, honestly, like I could just cancel the rest of the day. Like I just want to go to bed and start a new day because like nothing's going to top that, you yeah. know? Like in my days, it's like I want it like the day to get more exciting as the day goes on. And I'm like, that was it. Like, like nothing's top topping this? this. Like I might as well just go to bed and restart a new day because. But I thought it was fun this because is as good as it's gonna get today. We went and got a coffee and a breakfast, and we we're just sitting down, like, oh my god, and like we went over everything, and then it was so cute. You're like, well, we gotta make sure we have good insurance, and then Bro, Josh I called my like, insurance company right away. That's actually the first thing. That's actually what you're supposed like, to do if you I'm Google like what to do when pregnant. This in. I'm making sure because I was like, like, bitch, you're a mother. No but, drama. Like, no oh, insurance. Father, no, no. We, have, we have insurance. And no, we have insurance. Our insurance was fine. So yeah, we, we just checked but I just all that. Double down but and then, check. I was like thinking. I was like, oh my gosh, like yeah. What do we do? Like, I, got, I got I protective. Josh came out, and I I'm know. not. I feel like I'm not a very like I'm protective enough, but I'm not yeah. like an overprotective person. But I'm like, oh my god, like you're a good protector. I gotta get my money right. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. This <laughs> your, has to be in the right line. Right. <laughs> I have to have enough time to hang out. Um, and be there for Katie and the baby. <laughs> and I got to make sure this is in place. And like, that's still going through my head to this day. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you okay over there? Why do you seem more stressed than me? I'm the one freaking who's going to like. I, okay. Bro, so, I give girls props. Because if I knew like my body was about to change, I'm about to push something out of me. Like, I'd, I'd probably be stressing. Yeah. I don't know. Because I feel like it's still so far away. Like, there's no point in like stressing about it's it. It's also like, obviously like one of the coolest things ever yeah like, I feel like it's, it's not a, like a thing to stress well it's like no it's like nervous, some people experience right that like word. it's just i don't know I'm, I'm excited for it all so for anyway so we go there blah, blah, like whatever and it was it was just a really fun time but let's talk about now let's talk about my pregnancy so far yeah well and I all mean, the like lies for it. All, the, you. all the lies we've had to tell people like that's what's been the weirdest thing is like keeping a secret, especially when we like put YouTube videos. That's like a lot of people are like, why have you guys been posting blah, blah, blah. It's like we've been filming. I feel like we can't. Well, we have been filming like some pregnancy stuff on the low. But then also like I feel like we can't post just any regular YouTube video. Like it feels like not it feels authentic. like a lie. It doesn't feel authentic. It's like I can't like hop on the camera and not talk about like pregnancy or like I know say something that I'm not supposed to say because it'll give it away. Like so was, we can't I don't like she it was said a the other day you wanted to film like a, a Tesla like decides movie. our food or whatever. And I'm like, yeah like nah I don't like, want to do that. Right. Like I'm just like you're pregnant. Like <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's like I want to talk about that. I want to post yeah. about that. It's like I don't know. No, I, I, I agree. Know. That's what excites me right now. Well, it's like Tesla controls what I eat today. It was it's like easy. I'm like that's not exciting me right now. It was easy to post like for your fight because it was all about your fight. And True, honestly, we did both during, then. And that during the week of your fight, of it. it kind of felt like not like that. I wasn't pregnant, but it really took like my mind off it because we were so focused on your fight. And um, well, I found out I was pregnant December 28th. So we actually had New Year's Eve with all of our friends. And like normally we would, well, you would drink and I would drink a little bit with our friends but, but i wasn't because i had a fight you weren't because you had a fight you were pregnant so and but it was kind of hard people were there was pressing, a couple people her, pressing me to drink because they're like her. why like you don't have a fight like i'm like i'm not drinking and then someone was like oh that's boring like just take a shot i'm like i'm i was i literally was like nothing you do will force me to drink so i'm not drinking <laughs> like i was like, but i felt like so down. mean but like i didn't want to drink i will not want to i couldn't but like i didn't really want to anyway but anyway, so that was kind of hard then because I was like, I don't want people to be suspicious if I'm not drinking, yeah. you know, and then I was so nervous about um, your post fight. Like I was like, oh, my gosh, we're all going to go out and drink. But because you lost, it almost made it way easier for me because we still went out and drank. Though. Well, you guys did, but only for like 30 minutes. Like it wasn't like a really like Katie's the only one not drinking. Like lots of people didn't drink. Yeah, the night was like it was already we didn't go out to like two in the morning. But uh, that's another day. Everyone's like, oh, like. Josh seems so happy after his fight. And I'm like, <laughs> even though he lost, I'm like, this I'm a father. Bro, I'm about to be a father. What do I, I got nothing to be <laughs> sad about. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to be sad about. Um, so I was like, yeah, I am happy. Cause like low key, <laughs> like fighting and training and all that is like a lot of weight on your shoulders. And yeah. like, now that like I had that, like kind of off my shoulders, I was like, wow, it feels good. Like I can just kind of lock in right now and 
focus focus on and, the wifey was, and getting everything like in stone set in place so yeah it was really cool because one of our work. family friends they they like um messaged me because they're like oh there was a proposal at the first fight is there gonna be a baby announcement at this one and i was, I was like, like low key there yeah. could be but no <laughs> <laughs> i did have an all blue outfit on not to you like did. i don't i don't know if we're manifesting it i'm wearing pink though right wearing now. pink today so um but it's just so far pregnancy for me okay so it's been really weird because the first like i was about like six and seven weeks pregnant when we were in paris and that was the first thing i think that was really kind of hard was when we were in paris in the uk i didn't like the uk food but i think it might have even been like 10 times worse for me because my smell and my taste was like so altered because apparently that's like a pregnancy symptom and i know it's been altered because i was going into like these different coffee shops i'm like Ew. she almost threw up to the smell of coffee i was she, like i was like what do they coffee. do in their coffee here i'm like this is disgusting and then i get home and i'm like i can't wait to be in america like i can't wait to smell like our smells because i thought everything smelled so bad there then i got here and i was like oh god it smells so bad here i was like ew the coffee shops like starbucks target smells bad because there's a starbucks at the entrance like random things i'm like oh god i'm like ew this is so bad and so then i realized i was like wait a minute i'm the problem it's me it's you <laughs> it's me i am the problem <laughs> it's me i sound pretty good low-key really? no. get her a record deal come on are you serious that's how it got fired but anyway that's really been uh, and then coming back home i did have a couple days where i felt very nauseous and during the uk was really hard because i didn't feel that great and i'm not sure I was sick, and then also I think I was being pregnant. Say, we were I wasn't sick, feeling that good. Jet lag, and you're pregnant. Yeah. So I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what what was what because like I know jet lag, and that's what I was trying to figure out. Because when I got home um, from the UK, I felt so awful for like two days and three days maybe and I, I thought it was just pregnancy nausea and i'm still not sure if it was or if it's like because i know when you get jet lagged you do get nauseous too like um one of my friends she like came back from somewhere and she was like i felt so i had to took a pregnancy test because i was so nauseous coming back from like greece or something right and so i was like i don't know but then the nausea kind of went away but then the last couple of days i've been kind of going in and out of it just to be clear morning sickness like you actually throw up like some people right some people yes are literally on the toilet like all day and some people just feel like they're gonna throw up so much and then some people it's like you just feel like you're a little off like you have the flu like that's kind of how i feel like i feel like i'm gonna say i feel like you've it's been super mild it's been if, very like, mild people are actually vomiting i actually no, saw, no like, i have ha i've been so lucky because it has not been that bad and it's only been a couple days but it's like i do i like i feel really like sick but not like oh my god i can't do anything like i can still work i can still do things but it just mm -hmm. comes in waves and i'm like Ugh. like if the thought of food just makes me want to throw up like just certain things but i've been so blessed because i know That's so sad. many girls they can't even eat like i can eat i can almost eat anything so i really am very lucky like i don't have it that bad at all i'm just happy that she still likes chipotle because yes you know the first couple days though i did it because uh, my taste was like so changed and i was like i don't know if i like it and then now it like tastes more normal it's weird i feel like i i just feel like i've been like bipolar with my smells my taste and i feel very off but it's it's interesting it's different you know it's been pregnancy has been quite interesting <laughs> for your boy too because yeah um no, i'm just kidding there's really nothing for me <laughs> i mean besides the smelly farts uh hey. the mood swings the okay, don't, don't okay, okay, um, okay. We're they're, not, go they're telling me she's about to throw up because she doesn't like the smell of coffee that I made, but I didn't know she didn't like the smell of coffee when I made this coffee. And <laughs> no. um, uh, my driving, driving is bad. Um, let's see if the list goes okay, on. Wait, let me no, I think the list does go on. Um, no, I think that's really it. Okay, so when you drive in the tesla the tesla like whips and we just got it so he's yeah like, that's my down. bad i'm and a little like, whippy i'm a bad driver but it's not it's it's only when you would go fast and the days i was feeling nauseous i was like oh my god like i could feel like the pressure going to my face and like i just felt really bad my car goes like zero to 60 in like two and a half seconds. it's pretty fast so like that's fair but i feel so, like it feels like that even if you're to not be sick. fair i feel like so far my hormones haven't been that bad i've had like two bad days i think where i was like moody or like kind of like went out took it out on you but i don't think it was necessarily my 100% the hormones. So one thing I don't know if you guys know this about pregnancy or not is you can get constipated and bloated. And oh, we just gonna skip over the hormones part well, like no, that. We, no, we just gonna skip over the hormones part uh, like that. No, the, well that's what I'm saying. I don't think it was hormones, <laughs> but I'm if you know kidding. anything about being constipated, like you literally have like toxins in so your body. So you're blaming constipation. <laughs> yes. huh? I was, the evilness was in your body. <laughs> it needed to escape, guys. I literally 
Like it was so bad. Like I ate for three days and didn't go to the bathroom. And I am normally the one who goes to the bathroom regularly. And I felt like I was dying. I felt like I had like, we food, actually I had like food here, food here. And like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't drink water. Like so it was so Katie bad. Katie doesn't really like, you don't have any like belly yet. No. But like we filmed a JD Fit ad or like a video for the Instagram. <laughs> and um, we had just ate Chipotle. And she I like had literally. In, like, three days. I wasn't there for it. She was like, I look so pregnant in it. And in my head, I'm like, oh, like, I feel like you probably like, oh, no, I was like, I was like, 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 oh, it's so bloated. I watched the video. I was like, oh, damn, we should probably wait to post that because people are going to think you're pregnant. But actually, you were just <laughs> constipated. Well, like, if I wasn't pregnant, I'd post and be like, lol. If anyone say anything, I'd be like, lol. I'm well, yeah, but the thing is, like, you are pregnant. So it's like, so I don't want people to, like, no, then, then you pregnant. can't, yeah, then you're not going to be like, oh, I'm not. But yeah. You are. So, so yeah, uh, we, we're living a lie right now. We're living a lie. But the only reason my phones are bad is because I was constipated. Uh -huh. I hate talking about this, but it's what? the reality. Yeah, I don't know. Facts. No, but it's all good. It's that's so far. It's for me. I think that's been the hardest part. Is like I've been chugging water, just trying to do anything I can to go to the bathroom. Because when you're pregnant, you're like whatever muscle that like lets your like stool go down, it like tightens. So, oh, like, is that actually a thing? Yeah, like it's a it's a. It's normal. It's like everyone's like, oh, pregnancy constipation. Like it's so. Oh, bad. really? I thought you were just like constipated. Just yeah, just no. like normal day life. No, no, it's a pregnancy thing. thing. And I was like, this is so awful, <laughs> like that. But I am. That is terrible. I know. That is actually terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I didn't know that. No. So it's like I feel like not a hundred percent myself, and when you can't go to the bathroom, like I don't know if you've ever been constipated, but it is an awful feeling, and you feel off all day, and so that's why I feel like I wasn't saying it was. I didn't feel like it was my hormones because normally I can feel when I feel like a little crazy, like period hormones, and you just feel like upset and mad about no reason. I felt like I was like in pain. You know when you're like no, in pain just and different. like you're just full of shit. Yes. Is that my first dad joke? Do we not have a little drum thing on there? There is. I don't know. I'm not gonna click, click all the buttons. No, because it messes it up. It messes it up. Don't okay, do it. fine. Oh, do it. It's so. Funny. Katie always wants to click the buttons, but I don't. Want her. <laughs> I'm like a little kid that wants to click the buttons. Um. Yeah, but I can't believe we're gonna have a baby, man. It still doesn't feel. It really doesn't like feel that real yet. I, don't I know. know why. Like I'm, I'm curious when it's gonna feel real. I feel like it never will until like we're sitting in a hospital and you're, <laughs> I'm watching you push out a little oh. human outside <laughs> or out of you. Outside. <laughs> I was gonna say like outside of you, but that don't manifest sense. me giving a birth to the hospital. Yo, that would be crazy. No, it wouldn't. That would be dangerous. No, that'd be, I meant like, crazy. not, it, that sounded like a hype crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that'd be crazy. That was just like, <laughs> yeah. that was just, yeah, that would be crazy in a not, bad way. Not a crazy. <laughs> no. But like, you know. But yeah, we are, we are just so excited for this next chapter in our lives. And I feel very ready to be a parent. And I feel like you might say you're not, but you're so ready. No, I feel dad. ready. I don't want, I don't want to give anyone the wrong impression. Like, say, I feel, you've been ready for like, you've been like wanting a baby. No, I've been minute. wanting a baby for a while, but like, it's not, it's not that I'm not ready. It's like, it's just like hitting. It's like the sitting. preparation. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Like, I feel like you're never ready until like it comes. And then it's like, you just, that's the it thing is happens. like, you learn in along the way, like, I always feel like there is no preparation because every parent always says this story. It's like, there's nothing to prepare for because you don't know. It's like, even if you already had a kid, there still is nothing to prepare for because the next kid is like way different, you know? I just still see it like when I, when I think about myself, I think of myself as like, like young, like 1918, like <laughs> okay, con conquer anything. You can though. You're but I can, to but like, like to, to think that like, we're gonna, I'm going to be a father. Like, I know. It's some, sometimes I don't know. Hate. It's so, sometimes, it's cool. Like I'm excited. Yeah. Sometimes it'll hit me and I'll be like, I'm like a teen mom. I can't. Am I old enough to have a baby? Like, wait a minute. I'm 25. I'm okay. I, I feel like I'm like I'm a like, high schooler. I'm like pregnant. 28. Like that is plenty of old enough. Like, yeah. I mean, there's no right or wrong age. It's just like you still. It is weird though. As you get older, like I just especially don't feel in your 20s, like I'm about to be 28. You wow. still feel like you're like like 18. Like I'm like, oh, I'm still like 18, and they're like, oh, maybe I'm not. <laughs> Hopefully we're still saying this when uh little Brocky or Broccolina is running around the house. And Just to clarify, we are not naming our kid that. <laughs> um, hopefully we still feel this, you know, young, which we will. We will. I feel like team. I feel like a lot of things. Obviously, like you do age, but I feel like a lot of it's a mindset and how you choose to take care of yourself. So, bro, this is so wild. Like we started YouTube together as just dating or talking, friends, yeah, crushes, whatever you want to call it. 
then dating, then dating, then engaged, then married. Now we're having a freaking baby. I know. And all the crazy things that's happened in between. It's going to be so fun though. And that is one thing is like, we will be like vlogging everything too. And I feel like it's like a whole new venture for YouTube and everything. It's like, even with all like the doctor's appointments, me being pregnant, like our life is changing so much and it's going to be really cool to document because I just think it's so fun to like always look back on that stuff. And I'm just very excited for this next chapter of our lives. It's wild. And Topper, you're good. He's sleeping. <laughs> He's sleeping now. He's calmed down, but he is about to be a big brother. He is very, very excited. But yeah, I, I'm. I think Topper wants, I think he wants a little brother, to be honest. Oh, does he? I think he does. Josh wants a boy. I really don't care. No, no, I, I don't care. But like, if I had to pick. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know. I, I don't really care. like. I, I also like if, if we had like a little girl, I'd be like, oh. Yeah. Cute. The main thing, obviously, we both want is a healthy baby. Of yeah. course. We're about to be on a podcast with a little baby right here. I know. We'll be like, Shh, one second. Hey, Josh, take over. No, I, I think it'll be really, really cool. Really special. I am a little nervous, though, that we don't have family in Arizona. We're going to need some people, hopefully, to like, hopefully my dad or my, my mom will like move out here part time. I know. We're actually going back to Michigan. Literally planned a whole trip to go back just to tell everybody in person, so, friends and family, just because like. Let's talk about that real quick. We, we want to tell them in person. It'd this be is fun. This has been the hardest part for us is like normally when people find out they're pregnant and even like youtubers and stuff they tell their family and then um they wait to tell youtube and stuff we haven't really got to tell anyone because the thing is is all of our families in michigan so we want to tell them in person and i didn't Ideally, want to tell people we would have gone back faster i would say yeah but like we went to the uk then we went to paris then we came home we didn't want to like come home and leave right away again but so we also, gave ourselves a week and a half which is even a lot of time also i was very nervous that some of our family members like i think both of our moms like sometimes spill a little information they spill the tea they like they the should be way this too should be the name of their podcast because like <laughs> all they do is spill the tea both of our moms um, cannot keep secrets and they might be able to keep a secret but i don't know if they could keep it that long and i know that they would let it up we to got one trust issues but we have trust issues well i've seen so many kidding. different even like my sister like it would be so hard to trust every single person in our family not to tell anyone that wouldn't get back to youtube and so like i really and especially since it's our first baby like i really wanted to be the one to tell people like i don't want that to be ruined so i i was like i don't want to tell people until we're about to announce it on youtube because i don't want that ruined like because i was just so excited to tell everyone i would hate for that to be taken away so i was like let's just wait to tell our family and i want for to tell me, them in person yeah for me i it's not really like i don't think they would like tell social media or anything but it's like i want to be able to like, i want to tell my mom i want to tell my dad i want to tell like your parents i want to tell my brother my brothers um yeah but oh, i just friends. found out my other brother is going out of town as soon as we get in so i'll have to call him to um, me, but i want to tell our friends like i feel like if you know like if you tell like my mom she talks to my friends like maybe she'd be like oh like i can't believe katie's pregnant and it'd be like oh like now he knows like, yeah, yeah he tells his girlfriend and she tells her friend like yeah it was it wasn't more so like you don't trust like anyone it specific. just it's like the tea gets when you tell there. that many people and it's, i just feel like it's a big thing when it's your first kid because it's like basically we just parents. want to tell everybody yeah and we're super excited to share the news and like it's super fun to see that in person and like hug somebody after you tell them or, and like, hopefully get super stoked with somebody um I'm I, I'm I had a couple dreams that my dad and like mom and like a couple other people we told our friends too like Jeremy they didn't care. and a couple of them and Tiff and and Danny and Leo yeah. and just like ML and all of them and like all of our friends and they were like oh cool um <laughs> so, didn't care and I was like I remember the dream I was like what that was weird no they're all gonna be still no, they all will. And the then, funny story though oh we gotta quick, tell this before yeah we're gonna have to wrap things up soon um so Dougie Fresh, we literally buy flights just to go back to Michigan. By the way, it's the worst time in Michigan right now. So this is the worst Michigan Five weather. Degrees. This is the reason why we moved to Arizona from Michigan is to not be in this weather. We book flights just to go there, to be in the weather, to tell family and friends. We're going for two days, right? This two, three, man, Dougie Fresh, KDB's dad, my father-in-law, decides, oh, you guys are coming to town? Oh, that's, that's cool. Like, I'm going to be gone. I'm going on a road trip. Actually, I'm going to well, leave like three days before you guys get here. And we're like oh shit. Well, we gotta had, lie to him he had already kind of planned this trip 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he never he had didn't... like dates of leaving. He was originally leaving after. And in his defense, he's like, "Oh, why does it matter if I see you? I'm coming to your house." Like, true, he's, he's coming. He's to our going house. to Texas and then point. Arizona. It's like he's like, "I'll see you in a week." Like, why would I stay back in the no, cold weather for a week? No, no, no. He's not doing. I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. But like in my head, I'm like, "Bro, like, yeah, like we're, we're trying to tell you, lying there to tell you, like, and you're gonna leave." And so, so, so my dad, I'm like, a little I'm like, "Dad, can you please stay?" That I tried so hard to get him to stay, and he's like, "No, I'm not staying." and then i was like i was like dad i have a surprise i was like fine dad i have a surprise for you and i um it was something really special but now you don't get it he's like what's the surprise i'm like i can't tell you and then um i was like you'll just have to stay and he's like well i don't think i want to stay and i'm like dad just trust me you'll regret it if you don't stay because i didn't want to tell my dad over facetime i feel like my dad will have a good reaction but so he's like okay fine like he's all excited for the surprise i didn't say it was anything like crazy but i mean it is pretty big for him like it you know um, no, he's about to have a, yeah, he's about to be, he's, about well, he's to already more, grandpa, but yeah. he's going to be even more grandpa, more grandpa, <laughs> but, but it's crazy because so I, I, I convinced him to stay, whatever, but my mom and my sister are so freaking annoying because they're like, well, what's the surprise? Why don't we get a surprise? It must be a big surprise. Katie only does big surprises. And then they're like hyping up the surprise to my dad that my dad probably thinks we're taking him to the freaking Super Bowl, which would be his dream come true. That would be equivalent to us buying my dad his dream house, like a million dollar dream house. Yeah, he definitely probably, because he's coming to Arizona for the Super, not for the Super Bowl, but to be here like, and we're going to obviously watch the Super Bowl, he but like thinks he wants to go to the Super Bowl, obviously like most people do. And he loves football. So like, now we've hyped up this massive surprise which, which this is, a, is massive a massive surprise, surprise but like it really has nothing to do with him like being in michigan it just like is the way it worked out yeah so like and the thing he is he probably is, thinks he's getting super bowl tickets so i think it would be funny to get him a football and a super bowl ticket that says you know is dated for like you know when well that would mean we're having a boy but we don't know um like in 18 years or 20 years when yeah but i i would feel so well, like, I, I would just feel so it. awful if he like thought he was actually going to super bowl just or to tease him like, a little bit <laughs> no i would feel so awful to tease him because that's like probably like he would cry no i wouldn't i would feel bad too and and so the thing is i already feel bad that he's waiting there but i'm also like i didn't want to tell him over facetime and i definitely think he'll think it's worth it staying because he's only had to stay a couple days in michigan he lives there but there's a slim chance that we tell him the surprise and he's like there's like a one in a million chance and he's like Oh, really? That's what I stayed home for? <laughs> He's probably going to think that a little bit. <laughs> but it's my sister's fault, and I'm pissed because my sister is like, bitch, don't lie to me. You're pregnant, aren't you? Like, she texts me. I'm like, no, why would you say that? And she's like, that's the surprise her dad is. And I'm like, no. And I literally had to lie to her. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, what are you? And I'm like, now, because I just talked to my other sister, Biz. She's like, yeah, dad thinks maybe, um, J because Jasmine said that, like, he thinks maybe you're going to tell him that you're pregnant because that's why that's his surprise. And I'm like, no, why would he think that? So I mean, I'm like, whatever. Jasmine put that in his ear. So I'm like, I wanted him to be so caught off guard, though. Because now they're all going to be like thinking like, oh. We'll have to throw in some kind of curveball. I don't know how. Like, we'll fake him out like on Thursday. We'll like take him to dinner. We'll be like, oh, surprise. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we might move back to Michigan. We're thinking about That's it. That's even better. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd like that because he'd be like excited if we were moving back to Michigan. But he also wants to like get out of Michigan. So true. I think he'd be like, you guys are idiots. Anyway, so stay tuned for that video, which by the time you guys see this, you guys will probably see that that'll come out. We don't even know. We have no plan. Um, it will come out soonish, though. Maybe in like a day or two, but it'll be who knows. Probably two days from when this comes out. If sure. this comes out the same day that we announced that we're pregnant. Sure. Oh my God, I'm so nervous for that day, but I'm also really excited, but I'm nervous. I'm also nervous that you're going to put this up public before we announce it. So I'm like, when you upload it's it. It's not going anywhere. I'm not uploading anything yet. Okay, good. It was just go on the laptop. But yeah, that was the little like story we had to tell you guys. And I think we probably got to wrap it up because we do have to go to the office, which we've been yeah, having so much we fun We are with. flying back to Michigan <laughs> tomorrow. Um, a lot of crazy things happening. Life is good. Um, you know, we're excited for the future. We're excited to share with you guys mm -hmm. on the podcast. And then also, I'm sure you guys already are. But if you're not subscribed to JD Vlogs, make sure you guys go check out that channel because um, we a have lot. a lot of coming. <laughs> a lot of and videos. you kind of got like the back end talking story of it all. So like, it would be cool to go watch the videos and watch them play out. Yep. Um, But yeah, that's really it. So we'll see you guys um, in our next podcast. Our next I podcast. don't know. I don't know. We're going to be parents. It's crazy. Uh, 2023 is going to be a big year. And you know what I did say? Um, 23 is the year I met KDB. And I always call it the Jordan year, you know, 23 Jordan number. What's this year? It's 2023. 
Oh, 2023. I thought you meant your age. I was like, what? No, 20? it's 2023. So it's like our Jordan year. Our know? Jordan year. There yeah. we go. Our Jordan Ooh, year. Yeah, okay. that's the year I met you. It was like, you know, a really good year. So like, this is going to be a really good year. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, This is your couple T. We love you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.